Okay, so boys and girls, we are going to practice making some plurals. And this has to do with words that end in Y. Now, I have a paper here and it has two important rules to help us figure out if we are adding S or if we are changing the Y to an I before we add ES. Now, it can be confusing, but not if we remember our two rules. If we remember our two rules, it's very, very simple. So let's look at our paper, which makes it so, so easy. So everybody put your eyes there. When Y is at the end of a word, there are two rules to remember when changing the word to its plural form. One, if a vowel comes before the Y, add S. If a consonant comes before the Y, change the Y to an I, then add ES. That's all you have to do. So, if there is a vowel before the Y, add an S. If there's a consonant before the Y, change the Y to an I, then add the S. So it's only two very easy rules to remember. So we're going to practice, and as we're doing it, you'll get into the groove of looking at it. So let's look at our first word. Who would like to try the first word and help us with our rule? You'll get really into the groove of it. Isabella, try. Our first word is monkey. Monkeys. Okay, and it's monkeys. So how do we spell monkeys to make it plural? M O N K E. Okay. So look, we have the E. Is that a vowel or a consonant? A vowel. A vowel. And let's look. Our rule says if a vowel comes before the Y, which it does, what should we do? Add S. So how would we spell monkeys? M-O-N-K-E-Y-S. Yes. Because we have the vowel, which is the E, before the Y. So we just add S. That's all we need to do for that. So anytime there's a vowel before that Y, we just add S to it. Easy. Okay. Would you like to try next? Logan, number two. Groceries. How do you think we spell groceries? Look at the Y. What letters before the Y? R. R. Is that a consonant or a vowel? R. Consonant. So what is our rule? Yes, very good. So spell, spell the plural grocery for me. Very good. And what's that word? Groceries. Groceries. Very good. Groceries. Ava Lynn, number three. Fly. Fly. How, and what's the plural of fly? Mm -hmm. F -L -I -E -S. Yes, F-L-I-E-S. Because in front of the Y is an L. L is a consonant, so we change the Y to an I before we add ES. Okay? Number four, please. John. Babies. Babies. And we have a B before the Y, so what are we going to do? We change the Y to an I and then we add ES. Yes, spell it for me. Very good. Babies. Allison, you want to try number five? Volley. Okay, and how do we spell volleys? V-O-L-L-E-Y-S. E-Y-S. -S. Because we have a vowel before the Y, so we just add S. Okay. Claire, you want to try number six? Mm -hmm. How do we spell it? S-A-M-I-L-I-E-S. Because we have an L before the Y. Number seven, Rose. He 
he? And what does he become when we make it plural? K-E-Y-S, very good, because we have a vowel before. We have an E before the Y, very nice. Olivia, number eight. Raise. Excuse me, Bryson, could you put that down? Raise, and how do we spell raise? R-A-Y-S. R-A-Y-S, we have the vowel before the Y. Number ten, number nine, please, Hector. Try. Becomes what? And how do we spell tries? T R I E S. Because we have got a consonant before the Y. Good job. Number 10, please. Gate. Becomes what? How do we spell donkey? K E Y S. Very good, because we have consonants. Consonant, or I mean vowel, Y, and then the S. Ava, number 11. Fry. Fry. F-R-I-E-S. F-R-I-E-S, very good. You changed it. We had consonant Y, so we had to change it to I-E-S. Number 12. Bryson becomes bunnies. Very good. B U N N I E S. Very good. Put a star on this. Put a star on this. Here. Do you feel like you were starting to kind of get the hang of it as we were going through it? Those are good rules to know. Kind of put them in your head. So when you're trying to spell one of those tricky words, you can remember it. Good job, boys and girls. Good job.